Fallout the TV show has been highly praised and criticized. I made a video on this channel last week praising the series and even talking about some of its weaknesses as of course the strengths. And thank you to everybody that went to go watch that video because it crossed I believe like 1.5 3,000 views and that, that was pretty incredible for me to see. Anyways, one of these things that I really praised the show for was the character writing. Many people in my comments and throughout the internet called this show woke and said that Lucy is a Mary Sue. And I argued against her being a Mary Sue in the video before any of these comments actually came out because as we've seen in Hollywood, a lot of Mary Sue characters. Now, I told you guys that she was a very well fleshed out character, Lucy was. She had a compelling arc. Now, compelling arcs don't make one not a Mary Sue. Failure and learning from your mistakes is what builds any character, but makes you not a Mary Sue when you're a female character. Let me explain all this. The phrase Mary Sue was popularized when the Star Wars sequel trilogy was released. The reason for this is that the origins of this phrase were that in Star Trek, some stuff happened. And you see, in 1973, Paula Smith wrote a short story for Menagerie, which is like some Star Trek fan magazine. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a Star Trek fan, guys. But anyways, she was an editor there and wrote a Trekkie's tale. That's what this tale was named, which was just this short story that was meant to be satirical. It used a character named Mary Sue, who was the youngest lieutenant in the fleet at 15 and a half years old, and she was flawless and perfect. Yet the way that she was depicted was looking kind of hideous. The Mary Sue character was to comment on how the Trekkies wrote fan fictions with seemingly perfect and flawless characters. Smith saw this mostly with female characters in the Star Trek community. And then it somehow resurfaced throughout a lot of media and really became a hot word to use when the Star Wars trilogy came out because of Rey. So now you know the original Mary Sue. How is Lucy a Mary Sue? Please tell me in the comments because I'm going to start to debunk these claims of Fallout being quote unquote woke like I've seen on the internet and this entire claim of Lucy being a Mary Sue. For starters, in the first episode we see that yes, Lucy has trained her entire life in combat. So she is ready for an attack and ready to fight but she's not actually had any experience in real combat, which leaves her unprepared. So when her husband attacks her, she gets stabbed because she isn't used to real combat. And then, you know, she is like the stim pack and whatever. But anyways, later on in the series, due to her efforts of being a nice person to all, she puts herself in danger as well as others multiple times. One of the most prevalent ones is when the ghoul in episode 2 starts to kill people in the town and some die due to her trying to be the peaceful woman that she is. And, well, he gets up and starts fighting people because he realizes that she's looking for a dude and then he wants that bounty and so she leads him to the guy and then she just messes everything up. I mean, it gets so bad that the scientist they all wanted ends up getting injured because of Lucy and others around Lucy. And then later in that episode, Lucy has to cut his head off to progress the story and deliver the part of the guy that was so important. In one episode, Lucy ends up letting ghouls out into the wasteland, and the result is some people dying, and she almost dies because of an old woman ghoul, because she was too empathetic, even to those who are cursed. Lucy was written well because she wasn't shown to us as this perfect little angel. No, quite the contrary. She messes up time and time again, and then at the very end of the show, she's not perfect or flawless, but we start to see her character dynamic shift, because she's realizing a lot of these mistakes are the result of her own actions. She is the result of Max getting injured with the ghoul and is the reason for a lot of other troubles in the show due to her naive nature. But over time, she matures and becomes a competent woman. Now, a lot of fans call this show woke, 
are probably mad that the woman is a lead character and hero. And I even stated this last week in the video that there's nothing woke with this, or maybe I said it on any cast now, to where when it comes to a show like Fallout, it's nice because you have this RPG aspect of the games where the entire game itself is an RPG. So at the very begin of the, beginning of these games, you get to choose if you're going to be a man or a woman. And, well, guess what? There's a lot of female gamers out there. It just so happens that Prime said we're going to have a female lead for the show. And even one of the largest critics online that will be the first to call a show woke said this show wasn't even woke. So I don't understand all the debate that these people are going against me in the comments and all throughout the internet. I really think this is all stemming from a lot of people's problems with Fallout quote-unquote breaking lore even though guess what Todd Howard and the creators of the show came out and said we did not break any lore in fact it's going to be greatly expanded on in season two and I believe even in Fallout 5. Now I understand that to have a strong female character is not new but it is new to have one that's competent and is a Mary Sue, especially for the time that we live in. We live in a time where we get these just lame characters. If we look back in time, though, in 1984, we had Sarah Connor, arguably the greatest female hero. And then in 1979, Alien, which was, you know, before Terminator, gave us Ripley. And Ripley and Sarah Connor are the two biggest female heroes who get praised because they helped make those movies so big. Now, yes, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the entire reason you watched The Terminator. And, of course, the story of the movie was compelling to people. But Sarah Connor did not destroy that movie. In fact, she elevated it with her entire character. The same can be said about Alien. Alien, at first, was very famous because it was a sci-fi horror that was terrifying audiences and is often still regarded as one of the scariest movies of all time but Sigourney Weaver played a great character in Ripley and the rest is history these films with strong females that aren't Mary Sue's are not new to us just because Star Wars ruined this with multiple other franchises in the past few years doesn't mean that if you see a project and it has a female lead it's woke now Fallout has nothing to do with politics except for one small thing that these grifters online could be also mad about. But like I already said, I think they're just mad about New Vegas, which has already been resolved. Fallout is set after World War II when we actually get to see the ghouls' real past. You see, after World War II and about like the 1950s was when the bombs dropped. And so we see the big Cold War. Communism versus capitalism. And in the show, there are very heavy implications of this theme. I mean, they say communism and capitalism a lot, and they let us decide if it's good or evil. Fallout paints communism as an evil, but also arguably as a good. The same can be even said about capitalism, but this is done in a way that isn't really preachy and it actually makes you start to think about both political ideologies. And this is made because it's set in the Cold War, and this is a big part of the overarching story with the entire capitalism and communism, and how that ties into the vaults and eventually the bombs. But as for Lucy being a wokeified character, I will stand against those claims. Appreciate Fallout for what it is that they constructed three compelling main characters who all were fleshed out one of them of course being the woman who isn't a mary sue being lucy the other being you know maximus who isn't that fleshed out in my personal opinion until the very end and then you're wanting more of his story and then of course arguably the most compelling was the ghoul mostly because of his compelling tragic backstory that we get to explore and why is he such a nice family man in scene one of the show and then why after the bombs drop is he a cold-hearted killer fall is the most recent show with an amazing story and limited politics so if you want to go see something great go and watch it and if you want to debate me over this entire video of how this show has great writing and how Lucy is in a Mary Sue, then great. Go to the comments and I'll talk to you. 
One thing I do want to mention before I leave and this video ends is I've also seen a lot of people online saying that Fallout fans are stupid. These are, of course, the Halo fans. The Halo fans are coming at the Fallout fans because Fallout actually is an amazing series and is very close to the game's continuity, almost perfectly close while making something original. While on the other hand, Halo Season 2 for some reason happened and was made this year, and while people have been saying it's better, the better with Halo is like comparing moldy bread to moldy bananas. That's about the same of better that it is barely even better if not at all and the reason this is is yes i guess season two did actually go into the lore and it was made by people who somewhat understand the games but season one built a foundation of a crappy story with everything breaking all the lore that it possibly could and then we were left with a horrific adaptation so go watch fallout and enjoy it and i'll see you all in the next piece.